Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So for the last couple of weeks we've been exploring various worlds in The Sims 3 and surprise surprise that's what we're doing today. If you can't tell from my rather jazzy hot air balloon, today we are in the world of Aurora Skies. Which is kind of a, an island, I guess. First impression is that it's pretty small. It doesn't feel as big as the other worlds. Although, I did just get the standard version and it wasn't as pricey as some of the other worlds in The Sims 3 store. So maybe that's why. But we got some little areas out here, but not really too much going on. I'm sure we'll take a look around like we usually do and explore the world. But it looks like pretty much everything is just on this one strip here. I love the look of these houses. Very colourful, very colourful. This is my sim, her name is Pina Colada. So she's going to be who we explore Aurora Skies with. Now I think my hot air balloon can be used for travel instead of using a car. So how about we get in our hot air balloon? There we go, that's right. And now if I send her to travel somewhere like if we go to one of these like central parks, I guess, the recreational reserve. You better use your hot air balloon to get there. You better not run away and get in a cab, I swear to God. Oh no, she's gonna run there. Why can't you use your hot air balloon? What's the problem? Why can't you travel via your hot air balloon, huh? Okay, let's try that again. Visit the recreation center. What's the deal? You're gonna get a taxi? You're getting a taxi when you have a hot air balloon? I'm gonna have to look into this. I'm going to have to Google how I use my hot air balloon. But seeing as we'll be taking a look anyway, we may as well check out the Aurora Skies backstory. The Sims 3 Aurora Skies. Do it for science. Science is everywhere around us, but at Aurora Skies it's not just something you learn, it's something you do. We need bright young minds to make the dreams of the future a reality. Even now we're finding more uses for garbage to help the planet, Charging batteries, powering machines, the sky is the limit! Haha, <laughs> funny. Just this last year, we created a modified hot air balloon using garbage as fuel and turning it into pure air with a pine breeze scent. Now you can have efficient travel and an amazing romantic adventure with no cost to the ozone. Or your nose. Every year we're creating more and more exciting things in the world of science. Garbage powered hearts, heart powered cars, solar powered cats, what will you think of next? It's all up to you. Do it for science. Oh, there's some info on hot air balloons here. Hot air balloons are an epic form of travel based around the simple principle that hot air is lighter than cold air. They lift in the air based on the heat system in the balloon, increasing the temperature of the air inside the balloon makes it lighter than the air outside and the balloon begins to float. Jesus, that sounds a bit complicated. More air is required to lift heavier things. That's why the balloons have to be so huge. How cool, or hot, is that? Okay. Well, you know, let's just enjoy our time at the park and then we'll figure out how to do the air in the balloon. You've come to a park in a new town and your first instinct is to talk to a, a random kid. That's a bit weird, Pina Colada. Well, this is a nice town. I'm a big fan of this statue. Who is this here? I see this guy all around, so many different um, worlds, but I want to know who it is. I'm sure if I read the, um, the world description, it would tell me who it is. Anyway, we're in the center. Oh, look at these beautiful colors. You've got those gorgeous waterfalls in the background. I tell you what, I actually really wouldn't mind living here myself. So what's this around here? I see another hot air balloon. Is this a school? Oh, you know what? No, I think it might just be an information center. Let me take a look. There's some chick there playing on the computer. Don't mind me. We got some benches, some posters. Hey there, don't mind me. And some bathrooms. Yeah, I think this is just kind of like a, a center to just sit. I don't think there's anything that interesting going on here. But what do we have surrounding us? So we have this area over here. This is City Hall. Looks rather grand. This kind of feels like a more colourful version of Sunset Valley. I really like this world. There have been so many worlds I've been to that have been really pretty. And this world, I think, is pretty. Maybe not as much as some of the other worlds. But this is the world I feel like I'd more like to live in. Like, I'm a big fan of the brightly coloured houses. Kind of reminds me of Noddy Town. I love it. It looks like there's another hot air balloon over here. Yeah, another hot air balloon. Wait, is this my... Oh, this is my hot air balloon. It's my house. Okay. <laughs> Losing my bearings a little bit. Don't mind me. 
This house, the Beaker House, has just a toddler living there. And we have another park around here. Looks like a garden centre. Oh, how cute! You can come here and grow some crops. What have we got over here? Some peaches. Oh, potatoes. Potato vine. Like a little community garden. That's sweet. Brightly coloured houses. Is this like a... It looks like a little corner shop. Oh, it's a spa and a bookstore. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, it feels like a little Scandinavian world. Shall we check out the beach? Okay, so I couldn't really find much information on Google about how to get the hot air balloon to work. It looks like no one else has had these problems, but you just can't really figure out why. Oh, prepare for takeoff. Okay, okay. I just wasn't patient enough. <gasps> no fucking way. Is this takeoff? <laughs> Wow, how impressive. Look how high we are. Oh, she's got her little binoculars out so she can spy on her neighbours. Um, so we can... Oh, let's sightsee. Damn straight we'll sightsee. Damn straight we will. Are we actually going to fly anywhere? I wonder if the hot air balloon will go any higher. This doesn't feel very high for a hot air balloon. Oh, I think maybe this... Is this animation the sightseeing? Is that you sightseeing, just using your binoculars? Well, I mean, being able to use a hot air balloon is pretty cool still, I guess. Not quite what I thought. I thought it was a form of transportation, though. What if I... Can I... Okay, fly to. There we go. So I can pick somewhere to travel to. So we can fly to the beach, at least. You spying on your neighbours. Okay, where should we go? I did say we would check out the beach, although... Where around here haven't I really looked? I haven't looked at the school. I always like to check out the schools in the area. Um, these are all houses. This is a gallery. Maybe I'll have a look around this strip, like, on my own, without, without the hot air balloon. Let's maybe land, like, around here, maybe, near the beach. Could not find a landing spot. Huh. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'll try and find somewhere that is big. That has a lot of grass, maybe? Okay, so, um, what about, uh... I mean, this is a residential lot, but there's probably, like, a lot... There's a lot of grass there. Okay, great, we could travel here. We did just teleport, but that's okay. Um, let's land our hot air balloon. And then we'll go and explore the beach each. There we go, there we go. We're still fairly close to the beach. Don't tell me you're gonna get a taxi. <laughs> You could have walked there. You would have got there quicker. You could have literally just walked across the grass and you would have been there. So this is the beach. I don't think if I did live... Oh, shut up. I was about to say if I lived here, I probably wouldn't visit the beach too often because it looks too gloomy. But it does look like it's a giant hot spring. This place really reminds me of Iceland. It feels very Icelandic. What's this place? Is this a park? Oh, it's a hospital. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. I really want to live here myself. And then we have this over here. What's this? What's this about then? What's going on here? Visit the Sundol community pool. Okay, this is definitely... I, I actually am starting to feel that this place is, like, based off of Iceland now. That's definitely my suspicion. Right, it's starting to get late. And worlds aren't that fun to look at when it's dark. Unless it's, like, a city like Bridgeport. So you know what? Let's just go home and then we'll come back out. No, go home and then um, and then we'll explore the world again in the morning. Where's my hot air balloon? Right, let's go. Let's go. Get in the balloon. We're going home. This has been fun, but it's getting late now. Still in her swimming cosy. Bless her. Okay, prepare for takeoff. We're going to go home. There we go. Soar in the skies. Uh, we will... Fly to... Now, where is my house? Always lose my bearings. Here it is. We will go home just like that. Here we are. Okay, Pina Colada, go get some sleep, and then we will wake up fresh in the morning and look around this world some more. Oh, shit. I just noticed. I'm pretty sure my neighbour's a cop because a police car has come to drop them off from work and pick them up, so... Best behaviour, Pina Colada. Right, so I think let's have a look around here. I kind of want to see these. These houses are really cute. I think they're residential, so I can't like go in them, but unless I visit every single one. But I think these houses 
are just adorable. I like that little lilac one. Oh my god, I wish I lived on a street that was as colourful as this. What's this over here? Salon and tattoo studio. Go and visit Barney's salon and tattoo studio. There's even some trash here that I can sort through. It's inviting me in with its glisten. Okay, let's take a look at this school. This looks like a very almost futuristic looking school. Oh no, not really. It looked like it from a bird's eye view, but it doesn't so much now. They got their little play equipment over here. You can sort of see in the classroom, but it looks pretty bare in there. How are you getting on at the salon, Pina Colada? You gonna get yourself a nice little styling? Oh, she couldn't really do much there. Okay, we'll just go and dig through this trash and see if you can find any, any treasures. And it looks like this is the town stadium. Pretty small, quite a cute little stadium, I guess, for a small little population. And it looks like along the waterfront we have a few little restaurants. We got this cute little place here, which I'm guessing is also, yeah, it doubles as business and journalism. And then we have this here which is a diner and a grocery store in Ikea colours. And then, what's this? Oh, it's a theatre. Okay, cool, cool. Well, kind of looked at everything. There isn't really a lot here. What's this? Is this the police station? Oh, this is where my neighbour works. Ah, uh, maybe I'll drop by sometime, say hello. Visit Land Grab Sell and Swap. Is that like a thrift store, I guess? Did you find anything worth keeping, Pina Colada? It's alright, don't worry, don't worry. We collected 23 units of scrap. Perfect, maybe I can use it to craft myself a lamp. Okay, well I can sell crafted items in the land grab, sell and swap. This store is very dark, isn't it? Someone's drawing there. Yeah, there's not really much to do here in comparison to some of the other worlds, but... I really like this world. This is a very pretty residential home. I actually prefer the look of this than Sunset Valley. I think this is such a cute little world to live in. And uh, on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. And I guess I'll be back same time next week for the Sims 3 world overviews. I'm not sure what, wo what world we'll do next. I mean, to be honest, I didn't really play that much with all of the Sims 3 packs. So maybe we'll do something a little bit different next time. Maybe instead of doing a world overview, we'll just look at one of the one of the packs. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.